Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM with Ms. Crosman. Today we are going to be doing the 40 plank challenge and what we use for these are um, some of you may have the traditional Kiva planks. Mine are a different brand of them but they work just the same but they're all these identical wooden planks and the way I do this challenge is that every student gets 40 planks and their job is to build the tallest tower possible. However, you have to make six different towers, each one using all 40 planks. I want you to really be creative, stretch your mind with this one. Sometimes what we realize is that our first idea is not necessarily our best idea. And as we are building different solutions, we come up with parts of one and part of parts of another that we can put together and make our best possible solution. But when you only build one tower, you don't typically come up with your best solution the first time through. So think about how you can gain some different height. Now obviously, using a plank this way gives you the most possible height. But do you think you can stack 40 of these end on end and still be able to balance them? Probably not. So you have to think of other ways to use them, perhaps putting two or even three together and then having something in between to kind of stabilize them, maybe you could get some height that way. Or maybe you want to focus on building a really strong base for your tower, and then as you get towards the top and you have like maybe your last 10 or so planks, using them in a different way at that point to gain some additional height. I would not recommend setting all your planks like this, laying them flat one on top of the other. This is not going to give you the most height even just tipping them on their side will triple your height if you can do it that way. So come up with six different ways to build six different towers using only 40 planks and measure each one to see which one is your best. And again, combine parts of them as you're getting toward your fifth or sixth one, maybe taking the base that you built for number two, but the top that you had for number four will give you the best possible result. So good luck, be creative, think divergently for this one. That is the goal, come up with lots of different solutions.